I have it decorated so that it kind of reminds me of Wyoming so that I can make it through the week till I can get back to Wyoming again. Uh, when I first got this office, um, Senator Phil Graham had resigned or retired from the Senate and I got this office and one of the difficulties was up here on the ceiling there was a star for the Lone Star of Texas. Uh, I replaced that with a bucking horse. So let me give you a little tour of the office. Uh, this is one of my favorite places over here. This is my fishing wall. There are no real fish here. That, that's a carved rainbow trout. Spectacular detail to it. Um, this is a little trophy I won in, in Alaska. Of course, I have my Wyoming cut slam. You catch the four kinds of cutthroat trout that uh, are in Wyoming, and uh, you can get a nice certificate. I hope more people will, will do that. This is one of the oldest things in my office. It's been here since I first moved in. This is a rod that uh, my grandfather had, my first fly reel, my dad's creel, and this fly is an NZ Special, which is the fly that I invented in fourth grade that I still use today. The secret is it only has one wing. I could only tie one wing. I could never get two to come out right. Now the fly rod itself is one of the first fiberglass fly rods and uh, technically this was a gift from my grandfather to my grandmother. When I explained that to my wife, uh, she said that's not going to happen in our family. This one is a, a Conrad Schwering picture. He has since passed away. He designed the uh, Teton picture that was on the Wyoming stamp. and. I've had this picture almost since I've moved into this office. This is uh, a carving um, from Riverton, Wyoming that I purchased. Uh, there's a young man there, that uh, Bob Baker, that does these carvings on moose antlers or any other kind of antler, but particularly moose antlers. And uh, so you can see the bighorn sheep there. And the title of that one is Bighorn Boulevard. And that, that's kind of Wyoming. That's kind of some of the spectacular boulevards that we have, particularly in the very usable mountains, the Bighorns. This is one of the first awards that I got after coming to the United States Senate. Um, I was at a dinner with the Aust Austrian ambassador, and he said, you know, we're about the only country that doesn't have an, an American day uh, named for us and there ought to be an Austrian-American day. I said, well, I'll see what I can do about it. So I got together a little document and uh, I got almost everybody in the Senate to sign it. I did get everybody in the Senate that ever signs one of those to sign it. And consequently, it moved through the Senate quickly and uh, moved through the House. And where I thought I was just designating it for that year, it turned out to be a permanent designation they called in their ambassadors from across the world for a celebration here in D.C. And uh, I got invited to it and I was given this plaque and assured that I would be in their history books forever because it's a permanent day for Austrian American Day. Um, I have a bunch of bookcases around my office. Uh, I think I've read almost everything in all of them. I read a lot of books every year. but. Uh, this one has some of my favorite, favorite collections in them. Um, I have all the C.J. Box books uh, autographed. I, every, every book that I read, I do a book report on. The History of the Senate that was written by Robert Byrd. He actually spoke every word that's in those on the floor of the Senate, and then they were, they were printed up. He gave us the first copy when we were, uh, when we were newly elected. And if we read that and answered his question sufficiently, we could get the other three volumes. I did that. This is my Sacagawea coin. I helped get Sacagawea with the help of a lot of Wyoming students. Um, it's the first coin that has a woman and a baby on the coin. But some of the things I'm most proud of here is that if you preside over the Senate for 100 hours in uh, in congressional year, uh, you can earn a golden gavel. And I did that th 
three separate times, so I'd have one golden gavel for each of my, each of my kids. And I've, I've always kept the Boy Scout display in my office. It keeps growing uh, as time goes by. Um, I even have some on my conference table for Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Um, I like to emphasize those organizations. They were the first chartered organizations uh, along with 4-H for the United States. They gave me kind of a unique walking stick because they knew that I was in the shoe business, so they put a hiking shoe on the bottom of it. I have a grandson that plays basketball, right here in the, in the picture. And uh, these are the th size 13 shoes that he outgrew, which he then gave to me because I wear a size 13. And I even wore these on the floor of the Senate uh, the day of the NCAA National Championship. And nobody noticed. Red shoes with a black suit, and nobody noticed. But uh, I wanted to do that for him. This is a, a collection over years that I that I've done. My um, mother was the uh, chaperone and lead person for the uh, Miss Indian America pageant, which was held every year at All American Indian Days, which was held in Sheridan, Wyoming, and it was. Uh, Founded by Neck Yoke Jones, a person who noticed that there was a lot of animosity and division uh, between the whites and the Indians, and uh, started All American Indian Days, where he invited tribes in from all over the United States for them to share their culture so that people could learn more about the history of the United States as it related to the Native Americans. One of the newest things in my collection is the spear up there. Uh, I wrote the AIDS bill that passed the House and the Senate unanimously and when it did then they sent me over to Africa to see what the problem was. And it's been a tremendous journey. I'd always wanted to go to Africa. I had envisioned myself uh, seeing all the continents which meant Africa had to be one of them. Uh, but I was going to go to Egypt and climb a pyramid and ride a camel. Never been there, started in the poorest of the poor parts of southern Africa and been working my way north. Uh, when I was in Kenya, I saw this Maasai spear and was able to add that to my collection, although it was very difficult to bring it back into the United States. This is my Buffalo Bill replica folding rocking chair. Uh, he used to sit on the porch of the Sheridan Inn and uh, uh, take a look at possible acts for his his show and uh, the advantage with this chair is that when he finished he could just fold it up throw it in the back of a wagon and be on his way yes I have a unique flag in my office it has 44 stars on it Senator Angus King inherited a desk from his great aunt and he found in the desk this flag and since it had 44 stars and that's when Wyoming came into the nation he thought of me had it framed and brought it to my office and gave it to me so it's a very unique flag and from a good friend welcome to my conference room this is where I hold bigger meetings because there's room down the sides and at, and at the table but uh, one of the reasons I like to hold meetings in here is that I like to legislate. I, I really came to legislate. I, I do a lot of customer service, but I legislate as well. And in the Senate, if you draft a bill and it makes it through the House and the Senate, and the President thinks it's important enough to do a public signing, you might get the pen. This is kind of my hall of pens. I have uh, bills here that have been signed and, and the pen given to me by four different presidents. As an example, this is one of my newer pens right here. This is for the tax bill. The tax bill actually came through the budget committee. I'm also on the finance committee, which had a role in it. But uh, without the budget committee, that could not have been, could not have been done. Thanks for coming on the tour of my office. Uh, it's been fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something.